every book in the Bible is where it's at for a purpose. Obviously, it's God's word, but it has a theme, and you must read the book with that in mind. Only the Apostle Paul would let you know that. He says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction, and righteousness. There's this way that God put his word together. And the Apostle Paul had, had a part in that once the second Timothy was written, the God, God had the, um, what would he call the prophets in the body of Christ there, there in, 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 in that day, back in Paul's day, put the Bible together as we have it. It wasn't a church council, it was God. And the book of Acts is where it's at for a purpose. It's a bridge between Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and Paul's first book there, the book of Romans. It, without the book of Acts, you don't know how God is able to go from, or why God, ha, from Genesis all the way up into John, has been just dealing with one people, the seed of Abraham, Abraham and his seed, the nation of Israel. Without the book of Acts, you wouldn't know why he's now dealing with Gentiles as his people. Okay? The book of Acts is a history book. It shows the actions and the activities, that's what it means, of the apostles. It's called the Acts of the Apostles, their actions, activity. It's not a book of doctrine per se. It's a book of historical record by Luke the historian to tell us why God was just to condemn the nation of Israel, put them aside for a season and for a reason, and then deal with the Gentile nations through a new gospel by a new apostle, a new message, a new dispensation called grace. Without the book of Acts, you wouldn't know that. It shows the fall of Israel, the diminishing of Israel over a few decades until that temple is, is destroyed in, 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 in AD 70. Now they can't sacrifice anymore. They're done. And God's, God's Gentile salvation through Jesus Christ, the, the gospel of grace given to Paul, our apostle, goes far hence to the Gentiles. When the dispensation of grace is over, Romans through Philemon, God will then begin his Hebrew program. That's why Hebrews is where it's at. And unless you rightly divide the scriptures and understand that every book of the Bible has a purpose. When I read a book of the Bible, I read it knowing that there's a purpose there. There's going to be verses in the book of Acts that speak to Israel that have Paul circumcising and water baptizing and doing things that Jews would do. But Paul would never tell us Gentiles to do those things. Every book of the Bible has a purpose. The book of Acts shows the fall of Israel, the diminishing of Israel, and the magnification of the Apostle Paul's ministry.